There are over 240 testimonies from current and former pupils at Highgate School, detailing allegations of abuse and misogyny by other pupils, with some accusing the school of covering up a rape culture. Sarah, not her real name, says she was sexually abused in her classroom. There was this boy and he would constantly message me and send me explicit pictures and I never responded. And in class, this boy, while my teacher was there under the table, slid his hand all the way up my skirt. I yelped and got up and ran out the classroom. I was sitting in a Spanish lesson when he messaged me saying, I'm going to kill you. I will end you unless you come here now. When I told my school, I told them everything that happened and they essentially twisted everything I told them against me. And they took CCTV footage of me at the time when he grabbed me towards him and they saw I was laughing and said, well, you're laughing in this video, so we don't believe anything you're saying. Highgate is one of many leading schools that have been named in more than 10,000 sexual abuse or harassment allegations posted on the website Everyone's Invited. Another former student from the school who doesn't want to be identified says the misogynistic culture began early and was not discouraged by teachers. I remember when I was in year seven looking at a boy's Ask FM account and he'd been asked to rate every girl in his class. And I remember I was rated the lowest of all the girls in the class and I was so upset by it. And the school said they knew that boys had accounts on Ask FM. They knew that this happened, but they didn't reprimand the boys or anything. And what kind of signal do you think that sent out to the, to the boys who were doing this? The school basically implicitly told them it was OK to objectify the girls and upset them in that way. This Me Too moment for pupils has snowballed to other schools in the state sector and in universities. Today, the government responded, announcing a new dedicated support helpline and a review of safeguarding policies in schools. We do have some of the very best and strongest safeguarding practices uh, in this country, of any country, but we recognise that we always want to go further. We always want to do more to protect the interests of children and also ensure that if there are vi where, where there are victims, that their concerns are properly addressed. In a statement, Highgate School said we treat any allegation of sexual assault and rape with the utmost seriousness. We are committed to an external independent review of all these extremely serious allegations led by the Right Honourable Dame Anne Rafferty. But alleged victims say more needs to be done to address a boys will be boys attitude and a tolerance which they say has cultivated this behaviour. Jason Farrell, Sky News.